today we are going to talk more about how to add nodes to the jenkins master okay and how, how i am going to specify the node okay when i am running the job okay so we are going to add two kinds of node one is the linux node and another one is the windows mode windows node because these two uh, the connection between the linux and windows uh, is going to operate in a different way okay so we are going to do this in two different method okay so that's why we are going to have a linux node and windows node and also we are going to configure our aws cloud okay how to automatically spin up a slave agent for my jenkins right when we talk about cloud scenarios so for every job i want a new mission to be spinned up and the job has to be executed there and it has to terminate the instance once the job is completed how this is going to operate so let's see those options today and then we are also going to talk about role based access control in jenkins so how i can restrict the user accounts user account who can do what kind of activity in the jenkins okay so the first thing i am going to do is in the management of jenkins you can add nodes and clusters in the ma manage jenkins and then manage nodes and clouds you can add these areas let me first bring up a linux node and i will prepare the linux node okay then i will use the same configuration in my jenkins to proceed further okay so let's launch a instance okay so click on launch instance on the top right you see option called launch instance click on that and here i'm going to use the amazon linux this is more than enough for me because i just need a linux machine to operate so that's not a problem so the machine i'm going to use it called amazon linux let us select that and in the instance type select t3a micro so if you see that there will be a server called t3a micro select that so next configure instance details no change in the page the same default things i'm going to do and next add storage so 8 gb is more than enough for me so no changes in the add storage okay let me repeat in the ami i have chosen amazon linux and the instance type i have selected t3a micro and in configure instance no changes and in the storage no changes and in the add tags page let me add a name tag click to add a name tag and the value is let me call it as your trainee id hyphen node linux node so the tag name should be okay your trainee id hyphen linux node let's call it trainee id hyphen linux node and in the security group let me select the existing security group because we have the proper set of ports already open for it so we should be good with that so select the existing security group and select the training group and next review and launch next review and launch and in the launch window select your respective key pair okay so in the drop down you can see your key pair select that and click on launch instance and once you do that you will see a page like this there will be a number which starts with i select that and select the mission get the public ip and connect it via putty okay here the user name will be ec2 hyphen user you remember this is the user name we have used 
the username is ec2 hyphen user let us update the mission sudo m update hyphen y okay so there are no packages so we are good it's having the latest os update whenever we want to have the jenkins running okay we need to have java installed right so let us install the java first so the command is sudo yum install java 1.8.0 jvk developer y so let us install java on the mission so the next thing is like when i run a job i need to install git then right because git is not available as a tool so let me install the git also so the command is sudo m install git So these are all the prerequisite for my Jenkins a node to be added to the sorry a server can be added as a Jenkins node. So I want Java to be installed, and it's better to have the Git installed because I'll be start pulling the code from this machine right at the time I need Git for the code pull. For others, I have a tools option via the tools I can be installing that. So that shouldn't be a problem for me. So my mission is now ready. Let us go to our Jenkins. Okay. So when you want to add a node um, from Gen uh, node to the Jenkins, there are two methods available. One is like from the master, you can initiate the connection. The other option is from the slave, you can connect to the master. Okay. For Linux missions, we'll be using the option from the master. I want the connection to be initiated to the slave then my master should be able to communicate to the mission right for that i may need to create a credential right so first let me create the credential so go to dashboard manage jenkins and click on manage credential and there select the jenkins and then global credential and there let me click on add credential okay so let me repeat dashboard manage jenkins manage credentials this jenkins and then global credential and then click on add credential and in the drop down you can select the option ssh username with private key because using the uh, username and key only, we are connecting to the server, right? We will use the same option to so select that. And in the ID field, you can call it as Linux. And description is not mandatory. And in the username field, put the username for the server. So for the Amazon Linux, the username we have used is ec2 hyphen user. So let's use that. So the username is ec2 hyphen user. And in the private key, click on enter directly and add. The key I'm going to add is on the first day of the training, I've shared the PIM file, right? You remember. So that PIM file I'm going to use. So this was my PIM file. Name was trainee21.pim. Let me open this and let me save this because this is the key I'm using to log into the server. So I'm just putting that here in the credential. So let me repeat the kindness is such username with private key and the ID I'm going to call it as Linux and the username is ec2 hyphen user. Okay. And the key is I'm going to put the key here. 
username is easy to user and the key i'm going to put the pem file so click ok so my credential is ready using this credential my master will communicate to the node let us see this let's go to the dashboard manage jenkins and in the manage nodes and clouds let's click on the new node dashboard manage jenkins manage nodes and cloud and click on new node and let me call the node name as linux and let me select it as a permanent agent that means it is going to keep attached to the cluster that's what the permanent agent means click ok you will see a screen like this so name is linux i can give a description for this and number of executors is nothing but how many parallel jobs can be executed on this server so let me increase it to three okay next is i need to provide a directory in the remote server okay so that jenkins will copy paste all the details in that location okay so let us see that so let me use the home directory of the ec2 user itself so let me give this as a directory where the jenkins will come and put the jar file and whatever it is needed okay so just put this so this is the home directory of the ec2 user it's fine okay and next is the label okay i already given a hint about that when i'm explaining the manage so using this label only i'll be mapping jobs to this particular node okay so you can give a common label or you can give a uh, like a solid label like for example i have a 10 linux nodes to be added so i can call all the 10 nodes as linux itself so it will use any one of the 10 node when the job is getting mapped okay so let me use the label as linux and the usage statistics is okay whether i should be added it to the general pool so that the master can run any jobs on this node that is one option so that is what use this agent as much as much as possible or otherwise only build a job with label expression matching this node that means in the job i will specifically tell that run this job on this node okay only those jobs should be managed so select that option because in the job you will be specifying i want this job to be running on this node only okay you will use that option you will not give the give this node to a general pool you will clearly say i want this job to be running on this particular node okay so label is linux and usage is only build a job with label expression matching this node okay and next is these are all the options which i am going to tell how i want the master and uh, the node sorry slave communication should be enabled these are the three options available like launch agent by connecting it to the master or launch agent by execute execution of a command on the controller and the next option is launch agent via ssh so we are going to use this option okay select the option launch agent via ssh and in the host name field provide the public ip of the new machine which was created right we have created a mission right provide the public ip and in the credentials select the ec2 user we have added that right and in the host key verification strategy select the non verifying verification strategy okay and in the availability it should be keep this agent online as much as possible okay so these are all the informations let me repeat the name should be linux number of executors is 3 remote root directory is home ec2 user label is linux and usage is use build a job with label expression matching the node and launch method is launch agent via ssh and this is the host name and in the drop down i am going to select the ec2 user key 
and in the host key verification strategy use the non verifying verification strategy and availability keep this agent as much as possible okay if you want to provide other properties you can provide it whether if i want to pass any tools or if i want to pass any environment variables i can do that that's okay we can do that later so let me click on save so once you've saved it you should see it automatically try to connect to the machine and try to see so if you go back i can see the linux node is added so if you click on the node and if you click on the log you can see it is it will connect to the uh, server via ssh and it will check the open jdk command and see whether it is connected so you should be able to see the agent successfully connected and online so it will transfer a file called remoting.jar with that jar file it will communicate so if you go to this server and here we do ls hyphen l because this is where i have created that file so it will push the jar file using the jar file the master and the agent will be communicating and if you want to if you want to change the configuration of the log file you can just see that here like you can click on configure so whatever you have done if you want to modify that you can do it here and if you want to see the build history load statistics all those things you can see here and if you want to see the system information these are all the default system information 